And now proceeding forward here let us remove all this code and let us explore more. Now suppose you want to print your let's say name. So here I will simply define var space name equal to let's say Steve. Now let us try something different. Let's say var space name colon of the type of string and later on let us use name equal to Steve. And here let us print the name. And now let us run the code. So in the output we get Steve, right? Now suppose I want to print this name with the help of some with the help of some function defined inside the my first file.kt. So here down the side I will simply create one more function by using the keyword of fun let's say display use the bracket open and close and define the method body. Now inside this let us use print and here let us print Steve. Now my objective is that I want to pass this value here inside the display method. So for that what I will do I will simply define a variable let's say name colon then string. Now in Kotlin in order to define any variable along with the data type the syntax is this. First you need to define the variable name followed by colon and then define the data type. So here instead of printing the Steve directly we can simply print out name. And now here let us replace this statement by display and then simply pass name variable. So when this statement will be executed in the runtime this Steve value which is present here will fall here and henceforth it will be printed inside the display method. Let us now run our code. So here we get Steve in the output console. Pretty simple. Now instead of this function suppose if I want to create a class and put this function within that class then how to do it. So for that what I will do here down the side I will simply create my class. Class space let's say person followed by brackets open and close and inside this class of person I will simply cut this method from here and paste it within this person class. Now to access this method we have to create the object of this class person as we all are aware of this right. So here let us remove all this code. So here what I will do here I will simply create let's say var space person let's say object equal to person. Now if you notice in case of Kotlin we don't have any new keyword compared to Java where we used to use the new keyword to create any object right. So this will simply create the new object of the type of person. And now down the side you can simply access this display method by using person object dot display right and then simply pass name as a parameter. And now when we will run the code then when this statement will be executed this function will be called present inside the class person. And hence this code will be executed that will simply display Steve in the output. So let us now run our code. So here again we get Steve in the output. Now let us generalize more. Now suppose I want this name variable to be defined inside the class person. So the syntax is very simple. Here again let us define var space name followed by colon of the type of string. So we define the name variable of the type of string right. And now here it says the property must be initialized or be abstract. Let us give it an initial value of let's say a blank string. And now at the top let us remove these two lines of code. And then what I will do is I will simply remove again this line of code. And then use person object dot let's say name equal to Steve. Right now suppose if I change this var to val then it will simply show this error here because the value of this name cannot be changed if we are using the val keyword. Right so always remember this. So let us change it back to var and now the name becomes Steve. Now here what I will do I will simply call the display method person object dot display and simply pass name as a parameter. But here this name should be used with the help of person object dot name. And now let us run the code. So in the output again we get Steve here right. So our code is now working perfectly fine. Now what if if I tell you that 
instead of passing the name here let us simply remove this from here and now also let us remove this display method from here and now here let us print this name which is actually this name present here which is actually the field variable of the class of person right so let us now run our code so again steve in the output so everything is working perfectly fine and this video is just meant to make you more comfortable with the kotlin language we will explore each and every concept in detail in our upcoming modules so please don't worry about it if you are unable to understand some concepts right in this video and now let us try something different let us do one thing let us remove this method display and now what i will do is suppose here i want to print the steve name inside the main method so for that i will simply use the print method and then i will simply use the name of the person is give it a space and then use plus symbol and then simply use person object dot name and then simply run the code so in the output we get the person the name of the person is steve right and now this is the usual syntax that i have followed here which is also being followed in case of java c programming or c++ programming now in kotlin we have the concept of string interpolation where what you will do you can simply cut it from here and paste it within the double quote and now to make the compiler understand that we have to extract the value out of this name variable so for that we have to simply use the curly brackets here and also here and then use the dollar sign here so this will simply make the compiler understand that he has to extract the value from the person object dot name and put it right within the quotes so let us now run our code so here again we get the output the name of the person is steve right now suppose if i remove the curly bracket from here and also from here then the compiler will simply understand that this string interpolation has been applied to this object not this name right so let us now run the code and see the output so here we get something weird output person at the rate something like that dot name so the compiler simply understand that you have to give the value for this person object which is actually which is basically the address of this person object so here make sure you always use the curly bracket open and close at the end to print the value of name in the output right 